you may ask yourself, is a mild-mannered antique shop proprietor doing dress like a finalist in the Miss Primitive Universe pageant? As you may have guessed, this isn't exactly downtown New York City, or downtown Earth, or even downtown our dimension. How did we get here? Long story. How do we get home? Well, hopefully the answer is inside this temple. Unfortunately, the way home isn't the only thing inside that temple. <laughs> Thank you guys enough. If it wasn't for you, I might never have been able to reopen the shop. Yeah, but if it wasn't for us, you'd still have the first shop. 100 bucks for this thing? It doesn't even have a monitor screen. And what's with the weird floppy disk? Telling you, it should go in the front of the store. Get your head out of your shell. It'll look way better in the back. Ah. Here, Don. Let me give you a hand with that. Whoa! Oh. Oh, that's it. Weapons, boys. Fork him over. But what if the foot attack, or the Girl Scouts? Or... You can survive without your weapons for one day. Ahem. <clears throat> you know what? You're right. It should go in the front. Ugh. <sighs> At last. The O'Neill family portrait can assume its rightful place once again. Who's the guy next to your dad? Him? Oh, that's my Uncle Augie. August O'Neill. <laughs> Uncle Augie was a real character. A head for figures and a heart for adventure. He used to disappear for months on end, traveling the world. We wouldn't hear a word from him. And then, suddenly, he'd just show up out of the blue with a suitcase full of trinkets and a million stories from his travels. Then one day, he just disappeared for good. <laughs> Piece of me, you little garbage maggot! I hate bugs. And from the looks of it, you hate bone china teacups, porcelain figurines, and depression glass, too. Oh, you two! Away from the breakables! Garbage detail! Now! Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. What is this stuff? Just a bunch of junk that got damaged in the fire. Oh, this still looks good. I don't believe it! What is it? It's a puzzle cube that used to belong to my uncle. I can't imagine how it survived the fire. Anywhere on Earth, for that matter. Here, let me help you out. <laughs> no, really, I'm fine, <laughs> Raph. I can do it <laughs> myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, you think some Utrom clown hit the wrong switch on his transmat? No, this felt different. The transmat was a whoosh. This was more like a shift. If I had to guess, I'd say Uncle Augie's puzzle cube acts as some kind of dimensional gateway. I got the heady science of whoosh versus shift, but after that, you lost me. The theory goes something like this. We're all made up of atoms, and atoms are mostly made of empty space. So you could, theoretically, have parallel universes all occupying the same space, but vibrating at different frequencies. A slight shift of atoms, and presto, you're in a whole different dimension. Okay, okay, Donnie! You're making my head buzz! It's not just you, Mikey. I hear it, too. We all hear it. 
Ah, uh, great. More bugs. Uh, show yourself, you lousy little gnat! Uh, Raph, you're gonna need a bigger fly swatter. Oh, crud. for one day. Uh, Raph, look! There's some kind of man-made structure down there. When you're through sightseeing, how about helping me kick some bug butt? Let's see. An insect's exoskeleton is usually thinnest right at the joints. And I should care because... Just swing me up and you'll see. Mm -hmm. how much I hate bugs. We'll get you down, bro. Just hang on. Like I got a choice. I spotted some kind of treehouse down the river a ways. We should check it out. Maybe someone can tell us more about where we are. You guys up for it? Oh, oh, or down for it? Ugh. Okay, but no more flying. Here we go again, waiting on the rides. Against us, another fine mess. Laughing in the face of danger, what else can you do? It's kind of crazy the stuff that Ow. life will throw at you. But wherever we are, whatever may come, no matter how hard it gets, the day will be one. Cause we will stand together, sister and brother. In this world, you got to beware. It's a jungle out Cliche to say cowabunga? In a Will word, yes! Whatever may happen, we're never alone. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, April! Where'd you get those moves? I don't know. Something about this place just brings out the jungle girl in me. It's a jungle out there. This is it, guys. Anybody home? Hmm. Maybe termites? If they're anything like that overgrown flying cockroach, I don't want to know about it. Where do you think you're going? I'm not afraid of bugs, tough guy. Don't be scared, bro. Jungle Girl will protect you. Hey, I ain't scared of nothing. I just hate bugs. You mean like that one crawling up your back right now? What? Where? Gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Can't say much for the decor, but it's got great ventilation. Uh, this was my Uncle Augie's. Are you sure? I'd recognize it anywhere. Look. So you'll always find your way back to us. April, look at this. This is my uncle's handwriting. He was here, in this dimension or whatever it is. The puzzle cube must have transported him here, just like us. Day 96. My shelter is barely holding up against the attacking swarm. I fear this may be my last entry, as my life is in constant jeopardy. You know that tune. Look sharp, guys! Back off, Scuzzball! Huh. Raph, no! 
If you make them mad, they'll just fire their... Stingers! Good one, Raph. Raph? I... hate... bugs. Oh no! Raffy! <laughs> Is he? He's paralyzed. If these are anything like Earth Hornets, the effect should only be temporary. Look out! A taste of your own medicine. Good. Jungle girl? High school gymnastics. Oh, it's Feeling back to your old self, bro? Bugs. Ugh. Bugs must pay! Definitely back to his old self. Guys, I found something. Or my uncle did anyway. There's a temple somewhere to the northeast. Here, listen. Day 130. I followed the river until I came upon a grey stone temple. Magnificent. Deep within a chamber, at the center of the pyramid, was a large puzzle cube. Identical in shape and form to the device that transported me to this savage realm. It may be my only way home, if I can just determine how to correctly position the cube. Day 145. I believe I've finally cracked the secret of the Puzzle Cube. Unfortunately, since my first journey to the Pyramid, the giant hornets have begun constructing their nest on the side of the structure. The journey will be dangerous, but I must try to reach the cube. I leave behind this journal and my compass pendant should any other poor soul end up in this infernal place. Heaven help you. Heaven help you all. That's all he wrote. The rest is just calculations. Looks like your uncle was trying to decipher the cube mathematically. We need to get to that temple and find out what happened to him. If we can piece together his notes, we might be able to program the puzzle cube to send us home. Then it's settled. We head out for the temple first thing in the morning. Your uncle's calculations seem to indicate a logarithmic correlation in an otherwise stochastic deviation. Of course! The algorithms follow a variation on a Fibonacci sequence. Do you guys come with subtitles? Guys, look! What I wouldn't give for a can of bug spray. A really big one. I think I know how we can get past them. Hornets and other wasps have a strong sense of smell. We need to disguise our scent. Whew. Do we have to disguise them that bad? I think you may be taking this jungle girl thing a little too seriously. I 
I sure hope this is worth having Mikey downwind. Woo! We're about to find out, because here they come! They're leaving! Olfactory principle proven! <sighs> Looks like the hornets have tunneled their nest right into the temple. So, how come no one's mining the eggs? These aren't eggs. They're pupae, second stage development. And from the looks of them, I'd say they're nearly fully formed adults. Weapons ready. Let's move out. Huh? Nice going, Mikey. Everybody, move! They're gaining on us! All right, stink bugs! This time it's personal! <laughs> Ticket home! It's Uncle Augie's handwriting, so he did make it back here. That's odd. The settings on the cube don't match the coordinates in your uncle's journal. Wherever it sent him, it wasn't home. You're right. Something must have happened while he was setting the final coordinate. But what? You had to ask. It's the Queen. I don't care if it's Queen Latifah. You guys need to get that cube fired up! I'm gone two seconds and suddenly everyone's covered in crud? So, uh, let me get this straight. You defeated the giant Hornet Queen all by yourself? Like I said, something about that place just brought out the jungle girl in me. Not that I'm in a big hurry to go back there. But I will find you someday, Uncle Augie. I swear it. <laughs> 